I'm not saying that I haven't been charmed by Harvey, but it's just so patronizing when you say that he can handle those things and Lewis, you can only handle this. Jessica, I could have handled Gerald Tate. And I told you I disagree. Why? Because, because when you put two bullies in the same room together, things generally don't go so well. It's 9.30, nice of you to show up two hours after we open for business. And I see that you're also trying to look like a pimp. My bad, Lewis. I was out late last night. And when I woke up, this is the suit your wife picked out for me. And that would be funny if I'd actually been married. Moving along. You're not married? Recruiting. Harvey, your interviews are set up for tomorrow. What? Why don't we just hire the Harvard summer associate douche? I think if you listen to the phrasing of that question, you'll come up with an answer. We need people who think on their feet, not another clone with a rod of possess. Harvey, the fact that we only hire from Harvard gives us a cachet that's a little more valuable than hiring a kid from Rutgers. You went to Harvard Law. I'm an exception. Find me another one. Can we please skip the recruiting? I work better alone anyway. Well, I would, Harvey, except all senior partners get an associate. It's just a rule. I'm sorry, what? Jessica, I deserve that promotion. My billables destroy his. And I'm here night and day doing whatever's needed instead of swanning in and out of here whenever I please. <laughs> I must admit, he does make me sound very swan-like. Harvey, shut up. Lewis, this is how it is. Right now, you two make nice. Lewis, I apologize. I was out of line. Now, if you'll just let me text your pretend wife that I just made senior partner, I... What? Too far? Come on, she doesn't even exist. How was that nice? It's not mean. Lewis, come on. Lewis, just messing around with you. I'm gonna let the whitest man that I have ever seen interview for our firm. Uh, because I have an appointment. You look like you're 11 years old. I was late to puberty. Okay. Thank you. I respect you. about going for a swim. Are the pool facilities here nice? Of course, sir. It's the Chilton Hotel. Best in the city. Why is the pool closed? And, uh, do you have the time? Oh, yes. it's, uh, 10 o'clock. <clears throat> Thanks. I saw your gun. Oh, you think that's him? That's the description, but he didn't go in the room. It's 10 exactly. He's just walking by. Go after him. Stay on the radio. Rick Sorkin. 
Rick Sorkin? Excuse me, Mr. Sorkin, you are five minutes late. Is there a reason why I should let you in? Look, look, I, look I'm just trying to ditch the cops, okay? I, I don't really care if you let me in or not. Mr. Spectre will be right with you. What? Can I get you anything? A coffee or a bottle of water? Hi, uh, Rick Sorkin. Harvey Specter, nice to meet you. Would you have a seat here? Whoa, what's this? Can I help you? No. How the hell did you know they were the police? I read this novel in elementary school. Um, Cops are staking out a hotel. One of them dresses as a bellhop, the other is a man in a suit. And it was the exact same thing. You read a novel in elementary school? What? I like to read. And why'd you ask them what time it was? Uh, throw them off. I and mean, what kind of drug dealer asks a cop what time it is when he's got a briefcase full of pot, right? We should hire you. Jesus, I'd give you the 25 grand as a signing bonus. I'll take it. Unfortunately, we only hire from Harvard. And you not only did not go to Harvard Law School, you haven't even gone to any law school. What if I told you that I consume knowledge like no one you've ever met and I've actually passed the bar? I'd say you're full of crap. That's a Barbary legal handbook right there, right? Open it up, read me something, anything. Civil liability associated with agency is based on several factors, including, including the deviation of the agent from his path, the reasonable inference of agency on behalf of the plaintiff, and the nature of the damages themselves. How did you know that? I learned it when I studied for the bar. OK, Hotshot. Fire up this laptop. I'm going to show you what a Harvard attorney can do. Pick a topic. Stock option backdating. Although backdating options is legal, violations arise related to disclosures under IRC section 409A. You forgot about Sarbanes-Oxley. The statute of limitations renders Sarbanes-Oxley moot post-2007. Well, not if you can find actions to cover up the violation as established in the Sixth Circuit in May 2008. It's impressive, but you're sitting at a computer playing hearts. Sorry, if you want to beat me, you're going to have to do it as something else. How can you know all that? I told you, I like to read. And once I read something, I understand it. And once I understand it, I never forget it. Why take the bar? This dickhead bet me I couldn't pass it without going to law school. OK, look, this is all Pretty fascinating stuff, but I'm afraid I gotta get back to work. I'll make sure that Serpico isn't around waiting for you. <clears throat> you want this job so much, why don't you just go to law school? When I was in college, it was my dream to be a lawyer. I needed some money, and Trevor convinced me to memorize this math test and sell it. <laughs> Turns out we sold it to the dean's daughter. I lost my scholarship, I got kicked out of school, I... <sighs> I got knocked into a different life. And I have been wishing for a way back ever since. Let me tell you something. This isn't elementary school. This is hard work, long hours, high pressure. I need a grown goddamn man. You give me this, and I will work as hard as it takes to school those Harvard douches and become the best lawyer you have ever seen. I'm inclined to give you a shot, but what if I decide to go another way? I'd say that's fair. And sometimes I like to hang out with people who aren't that bright, you know, just to see how the other half lives. Move over. I'm emailing the firm. I just found our next associate. <laughs> 